Good evening, folks. Let's dive a bit deeper on this recent study on underappreciated solar particle flux. This was the paper earlier this week describing how climate models underestimate the flux transfer by 40%. That is no small amount. And many keen observers mentioned this paper in the comment section, how that particle flux is responsible for surface temperature changes, especially in the major flare events, but also in the continuous daily flux of particle bombardment. This actually works three ways, both with protons that travel at relativistic speeds in the interplanetary magnetic field, these ones prefer impacting the polar region, and with the relativistic electrons pushed from the Van Allen belts down into the low latitude atmosphere by CME impact and compression of the dayside magnetic field. The first pathway is direct joule heating as the particles travel through the atmosphere. And this is indeed a global impact as the equator where traveling waves affect the global ionosphere rapidly and profoundly, and therefore the global electric circuit. Second, the particles traveling through these atmospheric layers directly destroy ozone. This has the secondary effect of allowing in more ultraviolet rays from the sun, especially in the more extreme solar flaring outbursts, which are known for their X-rays, which are mostly blocked by the atmosphere, but also the extreme ultraviolet burst. The third way is by electrical induction. These particle events cause an induced geomagnetic current, which is best known in space weather as being a threat to the power grids, but also all electric current gives off heat. And so that makes three. The basics of solar climate forcing along with a mountain of detail of known and published problems with climate models is found in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, with even more and the most recent updates in the 2022 supplement. Both books are available at the links below, and come back tomorrow morning, September 5th, for another brand new study on this particle flux spike during the period of global warming. Be safe, everyone.